All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give our praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Makakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well, who teach us the truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. We send salutation to the Akim, the Mori, who the gospel in sincerity and truth. There's a brother Quara from Trinidad Camp, coming through to another lesson to feed the leg and the house of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, I entitled this one, He's Returned with Mercies. For G cup. Right? Now, a, a, a lot of these jigs today, you know that in the Christian church, right, believe that, you know, the Lord return unto all that believe in Him, that all nations that believe in Him, you know. But not all nations went into slavery according to prophecy. But the Lord said in Deuteronomy 28 that you know if we in Hakan days the days where Moses was giving them warning, you know, if we in hearken unto the voice of the Lord, these is the curses that are gonna come upon us. Right? And we shall go into captivity. The Lord gonna bring the Lord gonna carry us into Egypt again with ships. Right? The most three and one. Let me just get you real quick. Amos 3 and 1. He said, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. Right? So we sin against our Maker, we sin against our power, and we sold unto the other nations. Right, because we, we disobey, we transgress. Right now, the scriptures talk about we had no might in our hands, you know, to deliver ourselves. Right, the scriptures talk about who could, del who, who could deliver out of the Lord's hands but the Lord Himself. So, if the Lord put something on you or put you somewhere, you can't deliver yourself out of that, you need Him. Right? <clears throat> no, we can't we can free ourselves or deliver ourselves from the hands of our enemy Esau. He's too strong for thee. Right now. Right? That's why David say, no, you know, de deliver him from the wicked, which is thy sword. You know? Which is too strong for thee. We need our Savior. Is Israelites, we need, we need our Savior. We need Yahweh Basham Yoshai. Because he put us, he put us in this and he's gonna take us out of it. He's the only one who could do it. And a lot of you all putting your trust in these idols, these other nations, all you putting all your trust in the so-called white man that he's gonna free all you. He's gonna deliver all you. He's gonna make an easy way out for all you. No, he's the enemy. Scriptures talk about never trust your enemy. Right, the so-called white man, these other nations they don't care about you. They hate your power. They hate your power, Basham, your shy. And they do not love you, Israelites. Your Israelites need to get that in your head. The Lord called these other these nations them enemies. Right? They are not your friend. And because of your disobedient, we end up in this low state. That these nations over us. And they were Ezra was seen in 2nd Ezra 6. Right? Oh Lord, these nations have been have been laws over us and began to devour us. Right? The Lord called these nations, reputed them as nothing. But because of our disobedience, the Lord made these nations over us. And they used to show the power of Yahweh Shem Yosha, he used he could use the basis of men. And put them over you. Right? He's in control. He's all powerful. This is why he, he's the almighty God. Right? So we're going to today's Baruch 1 and verse 17. He said, For we have sinned before the Lord and disobeyed him, and have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power to walk in the commandment that he gave us openly. Since the days that he brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt 
until this present day we have been disobedient unto the Lord our power and we have and we have been negligent in not hearing his voice wherefore the evils cleave unto us and the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses his servant at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that flowing with milk and honey like as it is to see this day he said nevertheless we have not hearkened unto the voice of the lord of our power according to all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us he said but every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart to serve strange god and to do evil in the sight of our lord Right, so we move the Lord to rat. Our power is a God of, of godly jealousy. Right? Thou shalt worship no other gods. Right? So when you need do these things, it's just like it's just like a man and his wife. When she leaves here and go on to another man and commit adultery on another man, it, it, it do settle right in your spirit. You just be pissed off, you just get angry right days where we do our power because the lord we are his wives if you're in israel right and what we do we commit our adultery on our husband commit adultery right so it's because of our iniquity we in this low state going through you know his misery right but the lord gonna save us out of it right just as a father will correct his son and chastise his son, so the Lord do it with the children of Israel. Right? He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna spare the rod and spoil the child. No. The Lord gonna correct. The Lord going to correct. Right? And this is why, you know, we end up in this in this condition because the Lord will be to turn back, he will catch himself. And know it's the fear end. Right? Get back in order, get back in line. Right? There is Isaiah 47 and verse 6. He said, I was wrought with my people, I have polluted mine inheritance. Right? Who are the Lord inheritance? The China Israel. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 9. We'll get it real quick. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 9. He said, For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance, right? So there is the Lord people. So the Lord was wrought with his people, and he polluted his, his he polluted his inheritance, and gave them into the hands that thou that thou didst show them no mercy, and upon the ancient thou hast verily heavenly laid thy yoke, right? When we went into 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 slavery, and yeah, precept is Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy twenty twenty eight verse um, verse forty or sorry, verse forty eight. He said, "Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things." And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until thou be until until he have been destroyed. He said, The Lord shall bring an, a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce contenance, which shall not regard the person of old nor show favor to the young. And you would see these things with the and Israel went through into slavery. It was hard. Right? <laughs> the conditions was very tough. It was it was hard. Right? Because he saw is a, a man of fierce countenance. He will show no regard to the old or the young. Right? He cast off all pity, you know. The so-called white man, he saw he done cast off all pity. He had shed blood like water round about Jerusalem. Right? Baruch 4 and verse 6. 
he said he was sold to the nations not for your destruction but because he moved God to wrath he was delivered unto the enemies right you Israelites you Jakes need to get this in all your head that we have enemies and we were delivered into the hands of our enemies not our friend not our neighbor not our body body but enemies lawless enemies when you read the prayer as Ryan scripture say what the Lord had given into the hands of lawless enemies most hateful forsakers of God and to an unjust king he saw with that unjust king whole system is unjust right is against you right we do know in verse 7 baruch 4 and 7 he said for he provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to god and this is what they do they will turn and israel do they were all of us then. right but the elect will return that remnant the elect and israel gonna return and repent from the ways repent from the wickedness and praise the name of Yahweh Basham your shadow the scripture say in the land of our captive captivity we shall remember ourselves and praise thy name right the Lord restored it back onto onto his, his men this knowledge this truth right this Baruch 2 and verse 28 he say, as thou speakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If he will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. And they will become that, that, that small number. They scatter with the four corners of the earth, they then keep all our way together. Scatter us divide us right now jake against jake right the southern kingdom against the northern kingdom right the siding with the enemy the joining hands in hands with the enemy and these things right verse 30 Baruch 2 and 30, he say, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff naked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity, and think upon my name, and return from their stiff neck, and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto, the, unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Now we have a book called The Lost. Right, a book called the Lost Tribe and Promised Land, right by Rondell Sanders. Well, let's read a quick passage from it on page three, three sixty-five. Right, I'll be reading in in Baruch two and verse thirty-two, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before me and i will bring them again into the land which i promised with an oath unto their fathers abraham and isaac and jacob and they shall be lords of it right right now hear what this book said right the, the lost tribe and promised land on page 365 he said the god of these children of israel is the true God they had said and everything inscribed on their tablets is true 
at the end of days they will be lords of all the nations of the earth right they're going to be lords of all the nations of the earth just as we're reading here right so hey the southern kingdom you lack latinos and native american indians you're like you're like the israelites right verse, verse 35 and i will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their god and they shall be my people right scripture say in the place where it was said ye are not my people there it shall be said that ye are the sons of god right and i will no more drive my people of israel out of the land that i have given them Right, Baruch 4 and 18. He said, For he that brought these plagues up upon you will deliver you from the hand of your enemies. So you see, the only one who could deliver it is the same one who put it. Who put it on us. He is the same one that going and deliver us. Yahweh Basha Mioshai. Right? Then Zechariah 1 and verse 15. He said, And I am. He say, and I am very so displeased with the heathens that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Therefore said the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies, my house shall be built in it. Said the Lord of hosts, and a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. He said, cry yet saying thus said the lord of hosts my city is true prosperity shall yet be spread abroad and the lord shall yet comfort zion and shall yet choose jerusalem so the lord gonna choose jerusalem and place them back into the land he gave unto their fathers abraham isaac and jacob i scripture saying in in in, in I think it's in 2nd Maccabees or 1st Maccabees where Moses say, he said, plan thy people again in the Holy Land as Moses has spoken. So you see the children of Israel are either going back into that land. Right? And who was, who, who, who was promised that land? Right? That when the Lord, hey, the Lord sent Joshua to destroy these nations, these Hamites, these Africans, and them was in the land and possess the land. Right? These other nations wasn't dwelling with us. They had their own border. Right? So you're going back to that. You're going back to that. And that's why Yahushai said, you know, when he come, hey, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do the same thing your father do. Divide, you're gonna separate. Right, because you say you're gonna separate the sheep from the goats. Right? So you nations, hey, you're all gonna pay tribute to Israel. Right? You all go into slavery. You know, he saw Edom, use the one use the main man, the main enemy. You go into slavery after you serve out your punishment, hey, you're gonna be wiped off of the face of the earth. The Lord gonna remove that evil. Right? You're gonna be destroyed. And the other nation, eh, you're all gonna bow down to Israel. You're all gonna be under the Israelite dictatorship and pay tributes be handmaids and servants unto the children of Israel. There's gonna be all a lot forever. Right? Isaiah 14 and 1. He said, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Right? So he didn't say you're gonna have mercy on all nations. You're gonna have mercy on Jacob. Right? And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Right? Thus said Yahweh Basham Yoshai. You know, and with that, hope it was very fine. I'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Basham Yoshai, Basham Makakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Well. Peace and salutation to the Akim Zemaudi, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Quara saying, Shalom.